today I'm going to be disassembling the MindStore PSS 1820. Uh, it's made by some company called Minds at Work. What it does is it allows you to store or copy a CF card onto an internal 20 gig hard drive. Uh, there's different models. I believe there's a 40, which has a 40 gig drive. Uh, it has USB and Firewire using the terrible, terrible micro connector that no one should ever use. And some weird connector, I'm not really sure what this is for, and power. And uh, that's about it. Uh, it has a big scratch on the back and some soft buttons, power button at the top. It runs on a multi-cell battery. Uh, oddly enough, it has no information listed on it, which is a little frightening, but it appears to be 9 volt just because of the number of cells. Uh, it's not charged, and it does not appear to charge via USB, so I'm not sure if uh, it's broken or if it does just simply doesn't do that. Uh, mine is a little beat up. Uh, I'm going to open this up. I know for a fact it's all snapped together plastic, so I will probably skip the 10 minutes of trying to pry it all apart. I've snapped apart the uh, silly plastic. I really, really hate snapped together cases. Okay, so we've got an Hitachi 20 gigabyte hard drive. DK23EA-20. Like I said, uh, there's a dash 40 and I think there's a dash 30 with these ones. Uh, I kind of cheated. I already tested this drive. It makes a lovely clicking sound. Uh, I might try and get another drive to replace the uh, printed circuit board on it and just see if I can uh, get anything off it because, you know, it could be filled with someone's photos. That could be funny. Uh, it's a standard uh, old school parallel ATA drive. And now we've got on this side reset button. We've got and Oxford 911. Ooh, I remember the good old days of going into stores and asking for an external firewire case and simply asking, does it have a 911 chipset? And if it didn't, I didn't want it. Uh, this looks like a, oh, another firewire controller of some kind, FW801A. Uh, and we've got this strange micro connector. I'm still not sure what this is for. I'm gonna try and get this out of the out of the case here. They foolishly ran this through here, which I don't like. Oh, soft buttons came off. Oh, good, it does pop out. Ooh, ooh! Why did they think that was a good idea? Well, I see they don't care much for um, LCDs. It's double loaded, double sided board. And, oh, they made it so the uh, the CF card is actually in a, it's socketed. So uh, one can pull it out, presumably. Let's see if we can get this LCD off without smashing it. Which will most likely happen. Okay, yeah, I do not know why they did that. That's just foolish. It's got a soldered on component, but let's see if we can just disconnect the whole CF card assembly. There we go, that's glued on. Okay, we'll just do that. Polyweld, made in the USA. Okay, this, oh, this is just the door, and it looks like just some plastic to keep the dust out on the inside. Okay, what's driving this thing? A, oh, Motorola Cold Fire. Uh, XCF 5206 EFT54. Uh, some DRAM. Uh, this looks like 
possibly a flash chip and oh an atmel an atmel oh, oh no it's Altira Altira EPM 7032 AE not sure what that one is either I'll have to look that up um, we've got the soft buttons and get rid of that power button here's the uh, edge connectors power USB the damned micro firewire port and this weird connector this must be for a dock I assume they sold a dock with this thing uh, or at least optional and they've got the uh, battery leads soldered onto it don't like that yeah well that's all we've got to it there's not much on it uh, it is it's kind of an interesting design with these parts soldered on and the, the, the LCD just in pieces. I mean, I, I I don't even remember the last time I saw a commercial product with the LCD separated like this, as is. I mean, it's almost always glued together in some kind of case. So I, I'm not really sure what they were thinking with that. And uh, oh, 2002 is uh, the date on the board. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get powered up. Uh, uh, just see what it, what it will do. I do know that the firmware, uh, aside from perhaps the bootloader, uh, is stored on the hard drive. It uses the last uh, 16 megabytes of hard drive space, as far as I know. So I, I'll probably have to put in a new hard drive if I want to tr actually try getting it working.